Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a social share button to your article like, like this one. This is our social share button. And if you click on more or in that smear, you'll see that you can add it to add any article to any social network that you like. You can even search for, for example, Twitter. And you can use the Twitter button. And you can just add it. You have to log in. And you could tweet the article. On the right you see this social share buttons here. And they, they, these are floating social share buttons. I'm going to show you. They are still here. These are the same buttons, basically. So, I'm now going to add this button to one of my offline websites to show you how I've added it to this website. I'm going to localhost here. Now we go to human sponsors. Then we go to administrator. This is actually, I go to login. to go to model manager first because I have a model that I don't want to be shown. Donate. Just make that unpublished. I'm now going to go to extensions extension manager. I'm going to click on Upload packets file. I'm going to click choose file. And if I want to uh, extension, this is actually a plugin, so it's PLG add to any scope. And it's working on Joomla 3, so I'm clicking on open. I'm going to upload and install. <coughs> And once you have installed the plugin, it's it's installed as being disabled. This means that it doesn't show on your website right away. So you have to go to extensions, plugin manager, and you have to look for content, add to any share buttons, and this shouldn't be red. It should be uh, should be enabled. Now I enabled it by clicking on it. And now I'm going back to content and to any here. <coughs> so it's now published, but by default it doesn't look like how I, I how it's on the website that I showed you. I'm going to show you how it looks by default. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it looks like it's fine. See if I can show you. And now I don't see that. This is the actual live website, so that's why it's not showing. <laughs> I'm showing you the, the wrong website. Human sponsors. Human sponsors to be zero. Okay, this is the offline version. I don't know why the 
donate button is still showing up. Okay, now I'm going to look at the add to any options. Any placement, bottom of content, Okay, this is our actually the buttons here. So this is the default buttons, so the non-floating buttons. So, <clears throat> so but if I want them floating on the right side of my website we have to continue to change some stuff you can make them appear on the left side or on the right side but I have to be careful because if I have any floating objects here or there on the left and the right let's show my Twitter Tweets uh, here because there are extensions and showing it, showing tweets. I shouldn't do the um, flo the floating on the left because it's conflicting with that. But I could use this one. So I'm I'm now going to use that word into a share bar. And I'm going to show you how it will look like because you can just delete this then I click save and now we click on refresh click on save Yes. Not tutorials. We are also going to change the appearance of the button. Click on refresh. We click on save. Going to just refresh. Now go, I'm now going to change the appearance of these buttons. We're going to just clean the cage. See, and now it's uh, changed the look of the buttons. This is changed because I used this code here and I use it on the universal button inner HTML. That's, that's what changed it, but this button here. And this is the floating button on the right side. It's, it enables you to just create a share button to any kind of social media that's out there. So if I would click on Twitter, it would just post my, my tutorial on Twitter. If I would go to a blog website, I could share my actual article on Twitter. 
So this is a real nice, a nice um, plugin here. If you like to ha have some more adjustments, you should go to the floating sh share buttons. You can actually have a vertical share bar. You only have to change the code here. I'm going to show you the vertical one on the website. You might also need a cage extension installed. I'm going to just, if you have a cage cleaner in here, it will show up sooner on your website. So, now it's on the left side. So instead of being here, the button is now here. Interest. Well, that's basically the floating share button. Let's see what we got more. Washington share bar. There's another one though. It's, uh, a center line towards the share bar. Let's click on save. Okay, have to click on clean cage. Oh no, it's here, or the, under the, it's no longer here, but it's under the article. So it really depends on the where you want the social buttons to appear. So it's now just in, now, now, now centered. Oh, I actually actually liked it on the right side, so I'm going to change it back to the right side. Click on save. Lean cage. Now it's on the right side again. Actually looks nice. Let's see and if you like more options you can go to the website add to any dot com buttons customize. There are other options that you could look at. You can, for example, just add a Google Plus button just like this. Let's customize it. And then there's your email button. These are all the emails that you can show. Actually, something you could show on your website. 
chair counters. Let's see how that looks like. This is how many times things are shared. So there are many options with, with this add to any extension. And you could get it for many websites. Like any website, WordPress, Google, Blogger, Email, Tumblr, Joomla, WordPress, Typepad, Feedflare, Elk. So it's an it's add to any, it's not just for Joomla. <coughs> I hope you liked this tutorial and I hope you'll be visiting my channel soon. See you back next time.